Guys, Mike Gross here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's rat. If you think you're tough, per request of Mike Gross at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. All right, man, let's jump into this. One of my first riffs from back in the day. I have lots of first riffs. This is one of them. Um, tune down a half step for this. Warren D. Martini. Woo, talk about a great player. Um, it's two different parts. Like, I think Warren actually does like the. Secondary thing that comes in. I'm going to change my amp setting just because. Um, so let's jump into this, guys. If you're tuned flat, that's really the way to do it. That way you can play along with Rat on this. Um, two palm mutes on the open E, but before you do that, let's set up for our chord, which is 7A, 9D, 9G. I just bar it. And if you hit the 9B in there, softly in there, I can hear that cutting in and out on the song. That's fine too, but aim really for the A, D, and G with your chord, so, and then string five through three, twice, back to the palm to D, and then one time on the chord, this time, the seven, A, nine, D, nine, G, so we have, or, palm muted E, string, open, and then, go five A, seven D, two times, and then we're going to flat this power chord, take your index, move it to the 4th fret, leave that 7th fret on the D, and go right back to the 5th fret on the A. So we have open A, and then when you hit that open A, leave your pinky where it's at, or 3rd finger, whatever one you're using on that 7D. Go back to 5A, and hit that power chord and slide it to 7-9. The next part goes, you start it over, up to there, okay, up to the, where you did the flatted power chord, the 4A, 7D, back to the 5A, 7D, then we change it, and we go 3E, 2E, 1E, use third, second, and first finger, and then you start it over. What I just now played, you do uh, three times. The fourth time, you go like this. Up to there. So you'll do four, and, or it's three and a half. So the half is. Then here's what we're gonna change a little bit coming up, watch. Do the two palm unities. Two times on the seven nine nine. Two palm unities, and then hit the seven A nine D nine G again and slide it, and then go. Uh, middle finger three A, first finger two D. Go A G D. And I would pick down, up, up. Actually, no, pick everything down on this one. It's not a fast thing. And then hit that 3A again. When you do that, see how I'm leaving it as a chord? Don't go. Keep it as a chord. Leave all those fingers down. And then slide that middle finger. At that point, lift your index off. Slide up to 5. Drop your... First finger to 4D, hit the, hit, so slide to 5, but hit the G open, then that 4th fret D, then the 5A, so it's, and then you're back into it. Alright guys, 
I'm Mike Gross. I'm out of here. RockingGuitarSense.com is my website. That's coming uh, the end of 2012. I'm not sure the exact launch date yet. It's $25 a month to become a premium member there. It's going to be cool, guys. Uh, Close-ups on the hand. Very slow moving. I know YouTube, these lessons can be fast moving at times. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll keep you updated. Um, I have a DVD that's available now, my first one. It's over two hours, lots of close-ups on it, tons of tunings, picking, strumming, scales. It's awesome. It's a must-have if you're starting out on guitar or in the beginner level. Um, and that is $20 plus shipping. And that's called The Ultimate Beginner's Guide. So hit me up if you want information on that. Um, it's almost ready to be released within the next week. And YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1 is my YouTube channel. Subscribe, guys. Once you do that, send me your favorite song riffs, pieces, requests, and get them transcribed accurately for you the way your favorite bands and guitar players are actually playing these string for string for string per string fret per fret is what I'm aiming for um, so I want to try keep it that way if you want simplified versions or different versions that's cool too if you're a girl singer trying to do a song and you need it in a different key I'll help you with that too so comment let me know how you're doing spread the word about micros my website DVD this channel we'll talk to you guys later see ya